We are on scene tonight with police in Pleasanton, California, showing the dangers that officers face across the country. Before we get to the body cam video, I want to play a 911 call from a woman terrorized by her ex-boyfriend. He covered my face with a pillow. He uh, pushed me. He pulled my hair. He wouldn't let me leave the room. Okay, he's there reason, now. I could have called him. I believe so, but um, he said that he would jump out the window on the side. So if they come, I would want them to go to my front door in the back window on the side. So police talked to the woman who got to a safe area at the apartment complex and tried to contact the suspect, Cody Chavez. Now, as police are trying to make contact with Chavez, they got a warrant for his arrest. Crisis negotiators arrived at the scene along with a SWAT team and an armored truck. Police used a battering ram to open the front door and deployed a robot, but Chavez slammed the door on it. Officers saw the suspect, had a knife in his hand. He broke a window so they could fly a drone into the apartment to assess the situation. Hey, the door open now! Get back! Get back! Get back! Shots fired! Shots fired! Chavez ran from the front door toward police with a knife. Two officers fired less lethal rubber bullets. He kept running. Other officers then shot him with rifles. Chavez was pronounced dead at the scene. Police recovered a kitchen knife with an eight-inch blade. No officers were injured, and this investigation remains under investigation. Joining me now is retired NYPD officer Jillian Snyder. He's also an adjunct lecturer at the John Jay College of Criminal Justice in New York City. Thanks for coming back on the program. Appreciate it. All right. I have never seen the use of a drone like that before. Can you talk to us about that? Well, thank you for having me back on. And I have to say this agency did everything they possibly could to really alleviate any unnecessary force. They were trying everything in their power to do everything that they could to really just get the suspect out of the apartment safely. Using a drone is usually reserved for a situation like this. They had a warrant for the arrest. They were trying to get the suspect out of the apartment. Um, they couldn't see into the apartment. They tried to send the robot in first, as you saw, and the suspect did kick the robot out, slam the door. So by breaking the window and sending the drone in, they were trying to survey if the suspect had a weapon. I have to say, as having watched so many of these, I was relieved it was a robot, not a canine, right? Because Absolutely. I always get worried about the, about the canines getting injured. Um, now, poli poli police plan to fly that drone in. I I I'm so fascinated by this aspect. If I want to play it again, uh, when the suspect came running out, let's watch it again. Hey, don't open now! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back. Shots fired! Shots fired! They fired the, the less lethal rounds. Now, they were firing rubber bullets. Are those, are those considered less lethal or non-lethal? Those are considered less lethal. They're trying to just stop the threat. You saw the officers. You had one on the right who was in plain clothes. He had the orange strap around his shoulder. That was one of the on-scene close officers that had the less than lethal weapon. He was trying to stop the threat. Another officer off-scene, you could see from the video, he was trying to also shoot with less than lethal force. That's essentially just trying to not overtly harm the suspect, but stop it from progressing. And in this situation, that was ineffective. And just real quick, this is just a reminder, it is always these domestic violence situations that are just so dangerous for police officers. Yes, domestic violence cases are one of the most unpredictable things that officers can go to. And in this situation, particularly, you had a suspect armed with a very large knife. He charged upon the officers. He was well within the 21 foot safety distance and officers had no choice but to fire in this situation. Yeah. All right, Jillian Snyder, thank you very much for coming back on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me.